But today, we're not necessarily living in the sweet by and by. Today, we're living in the sour here and now. I need to write a song. It would sell on the country music charts. <laughs> so look at what Paul says, verse 8. He says, through glory and dishonor, through slander and good report. In other words, Paul says, I, you know, there's some people that think I'm great, but there's a lot of people who, they don't, they don't honor me. They don't think I'm anything. Some people slander me, but some people bring a good report. Notice the balance. Look, notice what he's saying here. He's saying there's some perspective. In the world, I'm going to be dishonored. In the world, I'm going to be slandered. He says, they treat me as a deceiver. Okay, that's true. They think I'm a deceiver. So if they think I'm a deceiver, I'm a deceiver. That's the world we're living in today. It doesn't have to be true. You just have to be accused of it in our world today. He goes on, as unknown yet recognized. You know, I love that verse, as unknown yet recognized. There's a lot of people that are living today for recognition. They would just love to be honored. They would just love today to receive a trophy. They would love today to say, you're the greatest that has ever lived, but yet they live their life in total obscurity. They live, you live your life as an unknown. I want you to understand something. If you're unknown in this world, you're known in the next world by God the Father. And we ought not live for the praise of man, should we? I struggle with this too. We ought not live with the accolades. 